Well, a proposal by Scraps to take over animal control for both the city and the county is causing quite a stir. City's current animal control contract that belongs to Spokanimal, they say now is not the right time to spend millions of dollars for something that's not broken. KXY4's Aaron Luna joins us live with the story. Aaron? Mike and Nadine, according to the new proposal, all three shelters that operate in the county would continue to do so independently. They would have the option, however, to come together and help provide adoption and animal services for people looking to pick up a new pet. However, only Scraps would continue to provide animal control services. It doesn't make a difference for these lonely pets. They just want a good home. But the idea of a new regional animal control model isn't something that everyone agrees on. Scraps uh, would do uniform enforcement of laws and public policy for the entire county and the partners in the coalition. Simply put, the county's scrap shelter would be in charge of all animal control, including the city, a contract that is currently held by Spoke Animal. That's the option with new taxes. We are the option with no new taxes. The proposal calls for the renovation of a city building to hold all strays. That funding would come from an increase in property taxes, about a buck for a home around $200,000, something voters would have to approve. And we would invite our nonprofit partners to come in and help us assist the public in rehoming those. Gail Mackey with Spoke Animal says all three shelters, Scraps, Spokane Humane Society, and Spoke Animal, are dedicated to the same thing. But this proposal is just too costly. I think it's a good idea for all the stray animals to be in one place too, but my concern is anywhere from 10 to 15 million dollars we're talking about. Without the city contract, Spoke Animal could still function as an adoption and spay and neuter shelter, but they would have to cut back. And that will continue, but we will immediately lose about 15 to 20 employees. And about 60 percent of our budget. Even if voters do approve the new center, all shelters would still operate independently. It is not an option at all. We will not be a portion of their building. We uh, stand alone. We're a different business and we don't want any more confusion than there already is. Now both shelters say that a consolidated stray area would be great for pet owners looking for their lost pet, but Spoke Animal says that even with that Pet owners should check all three shelters just in case there is a mistake to make sure their pet isn't lost. Now this will go on the November ballot for all people living in the county. Reporting in Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.